I just have to run this. Is that I think it's okay? Yeah. Um, all right, I think we're ready for the presentation. So welcome everybody. Uh, tonight with me, there's Jose de Jesus Filio, and I'm really happy to have his contribution to our conference as we will have some advanced stuff uh, about running R from Postgres, SQL and vice versa. Jose, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about using R, uh, uh, connecting R, uh, Postgres now with R, and also connecting, um, running R from Postgres. Actually, the second part I'm not gonna talk much about it, but my what I want to talk about is the it's to briefly show uh, some nice and hidden features about working with R and PostgreSQL SQL that a lot of lots of R users miss, no? Uh, and I don't, I'm not gonna talk about why R because oh, most of you know, no? uh, uh, the importance of R, but I would like to highlight some um, features that some R uh, users don't, uh, don't figure it out no? that, that uh, in Postgres, that are very important. Like for example, unlike R, you with Postgres, you don't have to worry much about uh, feeding data into memory, no, because most of the data are on disk. So you can, you know, uh, every time you run a query, you know, uh, Postgres will bring you know, enough data to, to memory run and bring back to the to to disk. So uh this is one thing that is, for me is very important because when I started using R, uh, I had a lot of trouble um, with a uh, large amount of data. So when I uh, brought Postgres and Postgres in, I I figured out that this, I all those troubles with data in memory, feeding memory, you know, disappeared. Uh, highly available. It's a not if you if you have uh, Postgres in the cloud, you can access uh, your data every from everywhere. No, uh, this is some nice feature too. It's also safe. You now it has a lot of tools to make sure you don't lose your data, like authentication, uh, logical backup, physical backup. So uh, and and uh, replication. No. Uh, it's scalable. You can scale out and scale up Postgres. No? For example, you can replicate your database uh, as many times as you want. So you can have like a lot of nodes no? with all your data. Uh, so an another, another aspect of Postgres is that um, it's fast. Once you know how to index your database, it becomes very fast. No? And I noticed that a lot of our users, they just use it, use uh, SQL just as a deposit. You know? They just send the data to the data sets to Postgres or MySQL or SQLite, and they, they don't uh, work on indexing. And the indexing it makes it very fast. Uh, and it's a lot of ways of indexing. Uh, rich features. Uh, Postgres is not only about SQL, it's no SQL to you. Uh, JSON and Postgres is very rich and you can do a lot of things with uh, JSON. No? For example, uh, I'm, not talk, I'm not gonna talk about it much, but when I run a R model, no? uh, any model in R, because most of the models are Store R stores the model in uh, in a list, no, with a class. So what I usually do, I use I usually uh, use uh, uh, SQL uh, JSON like to convert that list to a to a JSON and send it to Postgres. No? So I can store most of the my uh, machine learning or 
uh, statistical models and Postgres just by turning my, uh, converting my, my, my model uh, into a JSON and sending it to Postgres. This is uh, another, another feature that um, Postgres has that I use a lot and I can show you uh, some uh, uh, this, this feature uh, in a short time. It's a full text search. You know, some people resource to Elasticsearch, but Postgres, if you don't, if you, you are not going to have like um, thousands uh, or even millions of access, you no know, simultaneous access, Postgres is enough. You know, if you, you can have uh, a rich full text search with Postgres, for example, I build. Um, uh, shiny, uh, shiny apps with full text search, and it works very well with Postgres. Um, so, and uh, what I'm gonna show bef before I'm gonna show, I show uh, the many ways you can access uh, Postgres uh, from R. I want to show, like for example, this full text search. This is a very simple Shine app. I'm going to like, I just, you, uh, I built this shiny app and it's in Portuguese, sorry, huh? But for example, you can uh, put your search here and you can uh, press the button to uh, visualize your search. Uh, it's gonna run again. But as you can see, my, my shiny uh, uh, brings back from, from Postgres uh, the search with the highlight words uh, and it use uh, inverted index. So it's very rich and, and you can do it uh, with shiny. Uh. Um, I also, I wanna show you how, how you can connect to Postgres. Now there are many ways to use Postgres from, from R. Uh, I think the way people are used to is to call the library DBI and connect using the host, DB name, and the user. I usually hit hide hide my uh, user and my password. So this is a way you you can connect and you can work. But that's another way that I really like is to use the package connections. I'm gonna use the same uh, arguments no, to connect to my Postgres. But the difference is that you can now see on the right panel, uh, you can see all your schemas. No? You can see all your schema and you can connect with all your schemas. For those who are not familiar, who are familiar with schemas, for me, Schemas in Postgres are similar to projects. You know? For example, I don't create many databases. I just have one database called, called projects. Uh, and for each, uh, each client I have, I create a new schema. You no, know? for example, I'm gonna um, create a new schema called market. Uh, I'm gonna create a new schema called market. And I'm going to create like a two, three, three data frames, no, three tables. Like for example, the name, the ID of the client, the name of the clients, um, products and purchase, for example. I created three, three, uh, data sets, three data frames, and I'll send them. Uh, actually, I already sent them to, I can send them all to, to, uh, to this new schema that I created. So for, instead of creating a, a new database to, to uh, a new database for every client, I created just a schema, you know, uh, for every client. And when I have to, access that, that schema, I, for example, I'll create this uh, already as X because I, then I, then 
access schema so and now those three database i'm gonna add those three database using db write table now from the dbi package you know? and then i'll create the primary key on the uh, table clients you now uh, using i uh, using the id client column i'll create a primary key on the products uh, table using the id product column no? Then I'll create a foreign key no? relating relating my purchase, purchase table to the client and to the product uh, tables, no? those, to those two, two tables. So, and then I'm, I'm gonna use the uh, nice DM package no? from Kiro Miller tool that the same uh, creator of the, I think, DBA package maintainer actually, at least, no? and our Postgres package. And I I'm gonna relate this three using the DM from source function from this DM package. I'm gonna relate this three, three uh, tables and draw this, the relationship between this three tables. This is an, another nice feature you have in R. You don't need to resort to a different uh, software to draw you know, your, uh, the relations between your table. Uh, as I have only one last minute, I just want to, to tell you that I also use, I, I, I also use the PLR extension. No? You can uh, add the PLL extension in Postgres so you can call R from Postgres. Uh, for example, I, I usually call a lot of uh, statistical statistical model from models from uh, Postgres uh, uh, in R so I don't need to to work with R outside of Postgres I can work with R inside of Postgres you know, but I don't have enough time to show that you know. I think this is what I want to show and I hope this was helpful thank you very much Okay, thank you, Jose. Uh, I think there is a plenty of knowledge that uh, we can use. So thanks for your time and for uh, spending a few minutes showing, uh, showing this presentation. Uh, thank you again, and I hope to see you next time, maybe at the next YR conference. Well, thank you.